Okay, so I've been doing a lot of speed tests on SSDs and hard disks, and uh, I thought I'd turn my attention to uh, some of the cheaper SD cards on Amazon. Uh, so I purposely bought the NetAC and the Magics because at the time they were the cheapest A1 SD cards. So let's boot up the Pi and see what A1 SD cards mean. Okay, so I've booted up my Pi and uh, I've got my 16 gig Magics card in there at the moment, uh, and I'm going to do a comparison. So if we have a look at this, uh, what are the A1 and A2 ratings on SD and micro SD cards? So I've only got A1 cards, I haven't got any A2 cards to try yet. Uh, but if we look at uh, this first one, so minimum random read is 1500 in and out per second, uh, and minimum random write is 500 in and out per second. So this is what we're figuring on, uh, and this is coincidentally, if we open up the Raspberry Pi diagnostics which is our speed test that comes uh, where well you can install it very easily in Raspberry Pi so if I hit run tests so I'm not doing anything else on the Pi and this is testing the SD card that the operating system is running from and this is how I've done all my tests so far uh, on USB stick and SSD okay so that gets a pass which is great so let's show the log and uh, if I save this so I'll get rid of a lot of the extra bits that I don't need and pop in here Magix 16 and then save that on my NAS drive so I can open it up in every operating system I try. So this is, uh, if we go to the Magix card, you can see that it says up to 80 megabits per second A1 V10. Uh, so it's the A1 that I was looking for and it says on the card A1 app performance but it doesn't make any claims particularly on speed I don't think but we're not worried about that because we've done the test so let's go for the NetAC uh, and just flick down through here so it's a bit weird this bit but it says for faster app performance the minimum random read write performance up to 1500 by 500 but when we look at that then we're talking about minimum every time it's minimum. So we don't, want to, we don't want to be talking about up to these figures, we want to be talking about minimum these figures, that's what's important. Right, so let's close this down and uh, I'll reboot it with one of the NetAC cards, the 32 gig NetAC card. Okay, so we're booted up with the NetAC card, uh, so let's just get from my NAS drive that file and open that up. So uh, Magix versus NetAC. Uh, so remember we wanted uh, 500 and 1500, which is the target on here. So this is, uh, this is definitely compliant as an A1 card. Uh, I'm getting really what I think is pretty decent performance from uh, a cheap SD card. So let's uh, go to Diagnostics. And if you want to install this Diagnostics, by the way, all you have to do is open a terminal and put in sudo apt install agnostics. Uh, and then it will install this app and then you can check just the SD card or just the, the card that you're using to run Raspbian. So uh, SSD drive, hard drive, USB stick, SD card, whatever's running it, you can do the tests. And I've done loads of tests and I'll link them in the description. Uh, so let's hit run tests. Okay, so that's come up with a fail. Uh, and I've repeated this test loads of times. This does, uh, does seem to be the pattern. Uh, so let's click on that and let's get the important information out so well let's go with the best figure that it gets oh 19865 yeah so this looks like the first test looks like the best test that came out Whoa. and these were similarly priced cards the reason I bought the NetAx was because when I went to reorder the Magix ones, uh, they weren't in stock uh, and they weren't available. So let's paste that there and let's go with NetAC. And I'll put a one next to it because this is, uh, I've got five of them and I've got them numbered. Well, this one hasn't got a number on it because it's the first one. Uh, but you can see sequential write speed 29,309 in the Magix. 23,035 on the NetAc, so 
the Magic's definitely beats that. Both of them pass on that test. But then when we're talking about the random write speed, it's only 271 against 852. And the read speed nearly makes it 1444 and the Magic's is 2921. So very disappointing. So I'll save that and I'll put in another NetAct card because I thought, oh, maybe it's just a road card or I've had an operating system on it and something's gone wrong with it. But you'll see the results are pretty similar. So let's reboot that. Okay, so the results are in of the NetAct 5, uh, which is uh, surprising. Uh, so 36,900 is the sequential write speed, so not bad for writing data to it. Uh, you can see that it even beat my Magic's uh, 16 card, uh, but uh, didn't beat the other NetAct. But then when you get to the random write speed, it's really poor. So 258 is pretty much half of what it should be, uh, and also 1349, is uh, is quite a bit lower than 1500 whereas again if you look at the magics that aces all of them uh, and so it comfortably passes as an a1 card but these shouldn't be sold as a1 cards i don't know if they're fake uh, i did order them from amazon prime so i kind of expect it to be you know as it's described the reviews were quite decent on them but uh, obviously they work but they're not delivering this performance so they're not delivering Class A1 at performance, so minimum random read 1500, so 1349, and minimum random write. To think that that's pretty much half of what it should be is very disappointing. So I'm going to contact Amazon and see what they say about it. Um, but uh, but really they're they're being sold as uh, something they're not. If we go back to their page, so here we are on the page, and if we go back down and we hover down. So for faster app performance, the minimum random write performance up to 1500 stroke 500. Well, everything's got a minimum of up to. So I think that is there to deceive. Uh, so I think they need to know about this. And uh, let me know if you've ordered a NetAct card. Let me know what you've had uh, with an experience of it. But uh, I'm disappointed. I thought they were all right. But when you do the speed test uh, and playing around with the operating systems, it does feel noticeably slower than the Magic's card, so I'm not going to be buying NetAct from now on. Uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.